welcome back this is Chris from Talon Gaming. Today we're going to look at Outlast, an oldie but a goodie. Outlast, released in 2013, was developed and published by Red Barrels. Outlast is available for Windows, Linux, Mac, as well as the PS4 and the Xbox One. I should put this out there right to start, Outlast is not for kids as it amounts to an R-rated movie. So what is Outlast? Outlast is a single player, first person survival horror where you play as an investigative journalist, Miles Upshar, looking into the sinister happenings brought to your attention by an apparent whistleblower. The game takes place at the Mount Massive Asylum in the remote mountains of Colorado. The settings and characters are based on real world asylums and real criminal cases. System requirements are low, the game is fairly old now and it'll run well on pretty much any modern PC. If you're looking for a little bit of extra content, look for the Whistleblower DLC as well as the second game, Outlast 2. The game features a very dark gaming environment in which to explore. Thankfully, you're aided by the night vision provided by your handheld camera. The game is very immersive. The music, the sound, the visuals, and the sheer amount of things going on around you not only make you feel like you're there, but it'll make the hair on the back of your neck stand on end. Outlast is a very gruesome game containing intense violence, gore, sex, and strong language. Perfect. The game will make your heart pound, will make you jump, and plays a bit like an interactive horror movie. There are some basic puzzles to solve as you progress through the game, but nothing that will make you pull your hair out. The main character walks around with a handy cam, which allows you to document the story as you go, and he'll jot down notes depending on what you're filming during the game. Very cool addition, if you ask me. The graphics are very good. The game uses the Unreal 3 engine, so despite being a title from 2013, the game still looks exceptionally good. The textures are detailed and the animation is very fluid and realistic. The environment itself is highly detailed and feels authentic. The cutscenes are fantastic and feel like they're perfectly blended with the gameplay. The game is extremely dark, so make sure you adjust the in-game gamma settings to get the proper experience. Sound effects are eerily accurate and will leave your skin crawling, from the guy bashing his head against cement pillars to the footsteps and bodies hitting the ground. The sound effects feel like they're on par with anything coming out of Hollywood. The music really helps to set and maintain the tone throughout the game and helps ratchet the tension up to 11. I couldn't ask for better voice acting. The voices are not only believable, but they really help add to the immersive experience the game provides. The story itself starts out pretty plainly as an investigation into the happenings at the asylum, but quickly morphs into an ever-expanding world of survival at all costs. The visual clues strewn throughout, documents to read, and an interesting system that allows the main character to jot down notes based on what you capture on camera. There's plenty of story here to tickle your interest, and it goes perfectly with the audio and visual experience. But not yet! I found Outlast to be fantastic to play. While it won't give you hundreds of hours of enjoyment, the 5 or 10 hours that you might get to play through the game are intense and very rewarding. The quality and use of sound, the visual cues throughout the game make this very immersive experience and will make you jump and get that heart pumping. I don't believe the game will leave you wanting to play over and over again, but it's much like a movie with a very linear experience. I do think it's a safe bet that lovers of the survival horror genre will love this one. If you like horror and are okay with the darker aspects of the game, give this one a go. Make sure you turn off the lights and turn the sound up. If you haven't already, check out our Outlast playthrough series broken up into smaller 30 minute episodes for easy viewing. If you liked this video and found it helpful, hit that like button to let us know. Don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. So don't be afraid to share your thoughts and feelings about the game or the review itself in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer every comment. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Chris from Tall Gaming, signing off.